You can classify triangles either by their angles or by their sides. Let's begin with angles. This is a right angle. If we connect their line segments, we now have a right triangle, which by definition has one right angle. This is an obtuse angle. If we connect the line segments, we now have an obtuse triangle, which by definition has one obtuse angle. This is an acute triangle. If we connect the line segments, we now have an acute triangle, which by definition has three acute angles. You can also classify triangles by their sides. A triangle can be an equilateral, which means equal sided. Sometimes you'll see these marks like this that show that those sides are congruent. Could be isosceles, which has two equivalent sides. Both of these are isosceles. Or it could be a scalene, which means no sides are equivalent. One nice thing about um, classifying by their sides is you automatically know something about their angles. If you have three sides that are equivalent, you also have three matching angles. If you have two sides that are congruent, you also have two congruent angles. Again, here's another isosceles. If these two sides are congruent, then we know their opposite sides, their opposite angles are also congruent. We also know that in a scalene triangle, no sides match, which means none of the angles will match. You can use um, your clues instead of your protractor to find figures. We know that every triangle has a total of 180 degrees is the sum of their angles. This is 90 degrees because of the little mark and 55. So we know that 90 plus 55 is 145 degrees. So we've used up 145 out of our 180 degrees total in every triangle. So 180 minus 145 gives us 35 degrees. So we know that this angle right here has to be 35 degrees. This is an isosceles triangle, so we know that these angles will match. If this one's 70 degrees, then we know that this one also has to be 70 degrees. 70 plus 70 is 140. Subtract that from 180, which every triangle has, the sum of their angles is 180. So we know that the missing, oops, missing angle has to be 40 degrees. This is a scaling triangle. None of the sides match. None of the angles will match. Take the angles that you already know, and you have 170. Subtract that from 180, so we know that our missing angle has to be 10 degrees. You can do the same for figuring out sides as well. We know that this is a scalene triangle, so if this side is 5 centimeters, then this side has to be 5 centimeters. We know that this angle will match this angle. Right now we've used up 30 degrees out of our whole total of 180, so this triangle has 180 minus 30 degrees has 150 degrees left over. We need these two have to match, so we divide by 2. 180, one, excuse me, 150 divided by 2 gives me 75. So each one of these angles will be 75 degrees. In an equilateral triangle right here, we can see that this is equilateral because of how the sides are marked. So if this is 4 centimeters, this is also 4 centimeters and this is also 4 centimeters. Now one thing with an equilateral triangle, again we have a total of 180 degrees, but we also know that three matching sides, so we'll have three matching angles here. 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. So each of these angles will be 60 degrees. In this triangle we have the sides marked the same, so it must be isosceles. So if that one's 4.5 centimeters, this one is also 4.5 centimeters. If this is 28, then we know that this one over here has to be 28. 28 plus 28 is 40, 56. Subtract that from 180. And this is 134 degrees. 134 degrees.